Speaker, the aggressive concentration of wealth in corporate boardrooms, the unending attacks on unions and their attempts to organize, and the passage of so-called right-to-work laws, which we now know are really the right-to-deprivation laws, have left America's workers begging for scraps rather than receiving the fair compensation and full benefits they deserve. My father was a proud member of the Iron Workers Union. He showed up every day and worked hard, erecting building, buildings and bridges across New England. And while he was at work, he knew that his union was fighting to defend him and his brothers and sisters and their families by looking out for our interests at the negotiating table. It's thanks to the strong benefits and wages secured by his union that my parents were able to provide for my sisters and me. The PRO Act is about making sure that other families have that same chance. It's about restoring dignity and power to where it belongs with our workers. After all, it's our workers who kept us afloat, fed, housed, and safe this last year. For that, I urge its passage.